Today I am going to begin to tackle something that I have been needing to do for a long time. I did a little bit, but my husband has just completed our mudroom, so now I do not have an excuse of why I cannot clean out the hallway closet. Oh Lord. So it's not that bad, but it's just, there's just stuff crammed too much in there. And I have more space now to move them over to other areas. So I have no more excuses other than the fact that procrastination is happening in my inner being. And I'm going to throw that out the window today. So follow me. She's no help. Maybe a little bit, but not a lot. And voila. This is what we are going to be tackling. Towels, sheets, tons of light bulbs, tons of candles. Oh my goodness. Any toilet paper, Scott towels. This is so randomly unorganized, unorganized. It's, there's an organization here, but it's so just too un, unorganized. I need more space within this closet. I don't know what this is going to turn out to be like, and as far as I'm concerned, as long as I just move some of this stuff over to another area and make it somewhat neat, I'm, I'm going to be very pleased. So, here we go. We'll, we'll see what happens. I'm going to be working on this. and. of the video I have started working on this and it has actually become fun I've if you look in here I have taken out like the sheets and I've put made my sheet pile here I've taken out some of the candles I put my candle pile here I've taken out some of the cleaning stuff I'm putting my cleaning stuff here and then I've got a goodwill pile over there I read this morning that one of the top 10 things of really organizing something is to get rid of the excess things that you might use 10 years from now or two months from now or those you have five sets of sheets that are excellent and you really are only where using two of them just really keep the two or three you don't need the five and so if that's you are in it now if you've got a huge closet and five fit in there fit as many in there as you can that you want to keep but for me i had if you notice my pile here i have so many sheets and my husband and i really only use two to three sets and then when company comes in i keep that set already cleaned and on the on the bed made so that stays there i really didn't need my pile that I've got to go to Goodwill over there, which is pretty huge. So that was one of the top 10 hints in organization is to get rid of the ex excess. And actually I cleaned out my sock drawer today and I had a ton of socks and some of them were really, really used because I wear socks just outside. I keep socks on my feet. So I just got rid of all those ugly socks and I'm keeping the good socks and my drawer just feels so much better and it's up there singing right now. So I'm hoping to keep moving on this. But why I'm stopping to say this is just get started. Make your sheet piles, your giveaway piles, your put everything in, in their specific place and then, then we'll come back here in a few minutes and not a few minutes, probably a couple hours, and neat, put them neatly in the crawl closet. Well, here we are. It really did not take me that much time. I want to encourage you, if you have a project that you're procrastinating on, just do it and just start doing it. And it just sort of happens and it gets done. I had this done probably within like an hour. And it's, we will do the unveiling. Voila. Now all I gotta do is do this to get the that. All I gotta do is this. All I gotta do is this. This is these are always heavy. They're light. They're right here. 
things, everything is just ready to, it's just so feasible. It makes so much more sense. And I had actually had fun doing this. So just grab that bull by the horns and throw it up over your head and it'll be done before you know it. You have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching my video and until next one.